When gold was discovered in California in 1848, practically the whole world went gold crazy. Suddenly, it seemed every wagon in America was headed west. Congress realized that the legendary Oregon Trail couldn't accommodate that volume of traffic. So the military was sent to find an alternate wagon route, and they found it smack dab through the middle of Oklahoma. The trail known as the California Road was used for more than 50 years. Art Peters has years of research under his belt where the California Wagon Road through Caddo County is concerned, and his tours of the area, which begin at the Hinton Historical Museum, are keeping the spirit of the old road alive. Even though it was more than a century ago that the last wagon train passed this way, portions of the path are so well-worn that the wagon ruts are still visible. Wagon travel was treacherous, and gathering water was a vital but arduous task. There were nine spring-fed canyons along the road in Caddo County alone, but none more popular a stopping place than Red Rock Canyon, because as Art explains, it was a bit like an early day drive through Red Rock Canyon is the only canyon that we have seen where the wagons actually went clear into the bottom and backed out. There was adventure along the road and mysterious topography. And there was romance, like the story of the 17-year-old Mary Conway. She was cousin to President James Madison, and therefore, a, being a young girl traveling to California searching for a husband with connections to the White House, Naturally, all the young military men would be trying to win her favor. Chief Surveyor Lieutenant Simpson was but one of the men who had fallen for Mary, and he had a plan. He took the opportunity, ran away from the wagon train the short distance to that mound, tied his horse up at the bottom, scurried up to the top. He unfurled the American flag and pronounced this rock, Rock Mary. And Mary couldn't wear it on her finger, but how's this for an engagement rock? Mary was so flattered to have a mound named in her honor that she accepted the lieutenant's proposal. And the red sandstone hill has been a legendary landmark ever since. A place where early day travelers felt compelled to leave their mark. This is J.T. Johnson, 1855. Natural erosion and fading memories are trying to erase the last reminders of the once vibrant path through our state. But thanks to the folks like Art Peters, the California Road, and those who passed this way, will not soon be forgotten. In Hinton, I'm Shell Wagner.